Why hello everybody, how are we? My name is Unicorn Pandu. Welcome back to another video. And Chantal's back with another mukbang called Shrimp Seafood Mukbang in Kuwait, which we all kind of knew she was going to be going back to mukbangs. Just kind of a not if but when situation type deal. But I guess let's see what Chantal has to say today, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, number one, like, what have you been eating besides last? Number two, like, why has she not mentioned unicity at all? I was thinking about the last time, just like, she was talking about losing weight, yada, 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 but, like, hasn't really mentioned unicity, like, at all, ever, but, hmm. Well, hello, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so hungry. No, 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 no. You stay under the table. Good. Okay, well, we were doing great until she had the cat in there. And also, this was probably allegedly filmed on the same exact day that she did her last video because she, she has the same makeup on. Stay, stay. I'm having some... I'm having a pretty big meal. I'm really hungry. This is the first, like, big meal. And I didn't even realize the food. There's a lot of bread, carbs, uh, shrimp that has breading on it. Girl, yeah, I mean, I'm not here to be like, no, you can't eat that. Yeah, you can't eat that. I'm not a doctor, nor do I want to be. But there's a lot of choices that you're making, Chantal, that's not super great. Allegedly, just, like, it all comes down on you at the end of the day. So, choices were made. I've had since coming back. I know I showed, you know, my big breakfast together in the video, but I didn't eat that much. We had like a lot of leftovers. We still do. Um, so let me just say this Mila and get this ready with some fresh lemon. I'm just going to squeeze all over my food. I don't know if you guys like lemon on your food, but if you haven't tried that, you must. Okay. Yes. So I have a shrimp platter here with some brown rice, sh uh, shrimps, shrimp. What's the plural of shrimp? Shrimp? Eggplant. Bread, fresh bread, tahina, mabuch, and some kind of salad with like juices, vegetable juice. Yalla. And I'm gonna say something. I love this setup a lot more than like whenever she was sitting on the floor, the blue couch, and she was spread eagle. Just this, I like this setup a lot more. I wish she was kind of higher up though, but you know, I like, compared to like the old one, I'm not complaining. Just again, I missed this stuff. Oh, oh yes, I did. Mm -hmm, but like also you were diagnosed with diabetes before you left though, so... There's like little french fries mixed in between all the food, it's like... So, let's get into... Mm-hmm. 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 You know how some of do that? Mm-hmm. When they take a bite of something good, I have a piece of french fry with rice. I love this bread, but it has wheat germ on it, so it gets messy. So I'm feeling the after effects of that journey back here. I'm in a lot of pain. <laughs> I have back pain that is so bad. And I learned something today that if you're on long haul flight, especially if you're gonna try to sleep, you have to recline. Like, I didn't recline the whole time because I'm afraid of being, like, just being inconsiderate. But, like, not inconsiderate enough to buy two seats, which you clearly need, though. Like, we're not going there. And also, you also didn't, like, get up to go use the bathroom for 12 hours. And that's still, to me, that's mind-boggling. 12 hours, you're just going to be sitting there in an up position, not moving? Yeah, wow, I can't imagine why you're hurting or anything. It's a stupid thing, because everyone, they make the chairs that way. I am. Mmm, good shrimp. You can just lift it up when it's time for meal service, you know? Friday plant, I love it. I've eaten from this place many times in my Um, but... I'm regretting it because, man, my back, my lower back, and then sciatica, which is on my right side, goes down my leg. Well, to be fair, do you know what's really good for a sciatica, from what I've heard at least, like movement? Like, that would be a great number one step, but you know, then again, like, look where we are. So bad. Anyway, and I'm feeling jet lag, like actual jet lag. <laughs> I cannot sleep for more than two and a half to three hours at a time. It's horrible. <sighs> so I'm just feeling it. A lot more and uh yeah i'm just <sighs> anyway i'm also going to be getting a maid it's very common for people to have maids here okay so what we're going to be doing here in this situation is like removing the number one thing that actually got her up and moving like going like putting away groceries going to go clean do this do that no 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 we're going to be removing all of that and hiring a maid Chantal, like, the number one thing that, like, you do for exercise, you're gonna be getting rid of, really? Like, really? Just, uh, there's nothing wrong with having a maid, but, like, 
that was like your number one form of exercise and moving about and doing things was like cleaning up, doing this, doing that. Really? That seems like a really bad idea to me at least, but then again, who am I to judge? Because... I don't think anybody was um, expecting a live-in maid, but then again, I wouldn't be surprised. I think I'm just gonna swallow pride and do it. And hey, I give someone a job. It's actually so common that most buildings have like cleaners that come in and do the apartments and you pay them individually, like each apartment. Pays. And also like at the same time, why can't you clean? Are you, oh God, we're gonna be starting like the bed bound era because if we're going to that conclusion, then I don't see things ending well to say the least. And on top of that, girl, you went to Thailand for a month and was doing things, going out and going places and walking and doing everything under the, under the sun. But like now, we're hiring a maid to clean, girl. Again, not saying that she can't hire a maid. Like it's not like none of my business, really. But why? I I don't understand why. And it's okay then. Is them. That and also on top of that, why can't your husband help clean up? Like, why are we going from, like, doing it on our own, doing whatever, to, like, made? I have so many questions, and I will never get any of the answers to them, I swear. Because, especially right now, mostly because of my back and my health, like, I'll just have more time to do other things instead of worrying about, like, you know... I think I mostly just want help with, like, like the things that hurt my back the most are, like, vacuuming, sweeping, washing floors, the bathrooms, I won't have to do that. So like the bare minimum when it comes to cleaning and stuff, like girl, this is like the one thing that you're doing to like get up and get mobile and like have some sort of routine and like get you off your butt for once and like go do things and you're gonna be like okay, okay again choices were made like I feel like it's a really stupid choice to be fair but so I think for me that's a good idea. I mean, to be fair, you also think that eating this food is a good idea and a lot of choices that you thought were good ideas ended up here. So I, I don't know if I would trust myself that much, to be honest, if you think that's a good idea. But again, who am I to say? The setup is weird. I know. I never have a good setup. <laughs> this one is a lot better than the last one. I will, again, I will give her that. Sorry about that, guys. I mean, to be fair, you've never cared about anything. If it inconveniences you and is good for the audience, God forbid. Oh my God, no, any sort of effort? No, 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 it's for me. I'm doing this for me and my comfort and like you guys can suffer the consequences of me not doing my job. Well, her job, you know, but like you get, you get what I mean. Like any sort of like fixing slash setup slash any sort of, um, I don't know, like ease of use when it comes to the like user. No, 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 no. It's all, it's all on her. It's all for her. And like everyone else can suck it. <laughs> I'll just take care of like organizing things, the laundry. Um, that I don't mind doing. Maybe, um, you know, cooking. It's not going to be a living maid. <clears throat> they just come like whenever you want them to. So yeah, that's my news. I don't really have much else to say. Um, I'm just really exhausted feeling the, the effects, like I said, of this whole trip. It was hard. I don't want to travel anymore alone either. I mean, yeah, like what happens if you get separated from your man? Like we all know what happened last time. He was super happy to leave you at the airport. <laughs> so I think that is better to travel non-solo for me. I was thinking of Thailand and reminiscing. We were reminiscing about our trip. Oh, I would go back there. Not for that long, probably. I feel like me, you, and everybody else knows that, like, you guys weren't there that long willingly. Like, you guys were miserable <laughs> during the end of that trip, especially. And, like, the last quarter, oh, my God, you guys were miserable. You guys wanted to go home. You guys were drained. I don't know how or why you guys would be drained, and especially, like, in Thailand, of all places. I would be being like, oh, my gosh, oh, no, we have to stand another week. Darn. Dang it. Oh, no. Maybe for a couple weeks or something. The vegetable juice is so good. Um, they give you so much shrimp, it's so cheap too. Everything's such a good deal, and oh my gosh, this was like a buy one, get one situation type deal. Are we gonna be going back to that? I forgot how. I don't wanna say uninteresting, but just like rinse and repeat Kuwait was, and this was like my worst fear come true. Here we are again. There, she actually just uploaded not too long ago, like a, like I think like a grocery haul video or something. I, I haven't watched it yet. I'm still um, recording this, but. 
This is the arc that never ends. When I was in line for the check-in counter, it was boring just waiting there and I could hear, you know, the clerk saying, what's your final destination? I like the movie. <laughs> and people, I realized why, like it just clued in. I can't believe it just clued in. Um, I'm gonna make my own tahina sauce. I'm gonna be cooking, don't worry, but I need like a few days to, to cry about my body being in pain so I can, re I just need to like feel better and then, oh. um, Anyway, most people, because there's a connecting flight, like the plane from Montreal went to, from Montreal to Doha. So Doha, there's going to be connecting flights. So most of the people from Montreal that were on the plane were going to different countries. And they were just going to Doha to connect, right? So, for example, one guy was going to like Chennai, was Karachi, just different parts of the world. It was interesting. Maybe, you know, a lot of people going home after the holidays, which I was like, I wonder how bad, it, how busy it's going to be. <laughs> which, I mean, to be fair, you could have waited to go back home. Right? Like, I don't know what the big rush was. I mean, we all know what the big rush was, but you could have stayed and waited it out. It wasn't horrible. I don't think I've had a horrible experience, like, with an airport that was just too busy. Let's see. She went to Florida and back. She went to Cuba and back. Kuwait and back. Kuwait and back. Kuwait and back. Like, ma'am, you are not some sort of renowned world traveler that's known to be going all across the globe to try all sorts of amazing foods. You've flown a very normal amount. <laughs> Come down. Have any of you been through that? I heard the Heathrow Airport is bad, but I'm, I don't know. I've never been. Enough red for me. Put that aside. But when I got to the Kuwait Airport... Is there a reason why she keeps looking up? Like, the entire video, I, she just keeps looking up. Looking up. Looking up. Girl. Are you okay? Why you what? Why do you keep looking up for? It's kind of weird. How it goes is, you have to go. If you're arriving, you know you have to go to a special. Like let's say, how do I explain it? There's like different areas, like different areas of the. I don't even know what it is. You go down the stairs, and you have to pass through these kind of officers, and they like take your information and you fingerprint. Not like police officers, but like. It's almost like customs, and uh, but there's like for different ones. There's one for like, anyway, that day that I came back, there was a line up the stairs. Like it was busy, busy, busy. There was like a huge line wrapping around and going up and down and all around. And I was like, oh my gosh. I walked all the way to the back of the line. And then thank goodness, somebody came up to me, one of the workers and was like, ma'am, you um, don't need to be in this line. You know, it's for people who need like a certain paper, certain visa. I'm like, oh. So I got to go right through. <laughs> My only question is, how would they know what you were going for? So, like, some random employee of the airport, like, looked at you and they went, Oh my god, no. Mm -mm, that, it's not, that's not the right person for, to be in that line. Ma'am, you're not supposed to be in that line. Like, was there, like, a conversation? Did, like, she ask, or he, or whoever... Like, did they ask, like, what you were there for? Why would they ask what you were there for, though? It's weird. Uh, okay, okay, though, she waited into a line, and then a random person just magically knew exactly what she was there for and said, no, 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 you're not supposed to be there, but... That made me happy. Because so I was so tired and stressed out. And then I had to get my luggage. I don't, I don't know why, but I never forget what my luggage was. Girl, okay, she's mad. You know, he, she keeps rolling her eyes. Like, that's the only thing that she's done this entire video. It's just, roll her eyes, look up, roll her eyes, look up, look up, roll her eyes. Girl, stop it. <laughs> we see you. It looks like, like, the intricate details. It's like black suitcases. Yeah. So how many people have black suitcases? You know what I mean? And yeah, this is the great, you know, return of Chantal, guys. How many people have black suitcases? Riveting. I love it here in Kuwait so much. Mm. I don't, I need to put I need to put name tags on my luggage. Oh. You have it, girl. You're supposed to be this renowned world traveler and you haven't even put your name on your suitcase. Girl. I got some for Christmas too, like as a gift. I remember you showed us that and you didn't <laughs> I swear. Someone gives you a thing to put on your suitcase. Okay, thanks. Doesn't even bother putting it on, girl. God. That's one of the things I find the hardest about traveling is being prepared because if you're somebody like me who's not usually lacking organization skills and things like that, you know. Anyway, um, thanks for watching and having this meal with me. Just thought I would catch up on how I'm feeling. Of course, a lot of complaints about how I'm feeling because I'm feeling pretty poorly. But 
That was a crazy. Oh no! It's like you know your own actions and your own you know choices about the food that you eat and your choice not to get mental health help or something has caused you to be morbidly obese to the fact to where you have to complain about it. Yet you know, oh no, we have to listen to you complain. Great, love it here. Dirty. Good night. Okay, great, love that. Um, I'm not super happy about being back here, to be fair. But, you know, with that being said, though, thank you guys so much for watching. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.